Just wait for it to load. Now I'm gonna be choosing something like um widget, and then I'll choose white. Now, now first I'm gonna teach you about the shapes. These are very useful because you can use them to make pictures. Um, they're they're uh, rectangles, and you can just and one the difference between shapes and pictures is that when you you can move like shapes don't retain their their um location like but if you drag a photo like um like um ooh, here's a good one you take this rabbit and then you see if you drag it like this it's it take it, it has like the same size but just bigger now there now uh, there's all the basic shapes um see this is a you can if you move this you can like change you can change the parameters of it there now, um, let's say you wanted to, so if you go to, you can change the color of shapes, so like going here, you can make it blue, no use, and then if you do more colors, you can like move this, and you can do this, you can, and this, you can like, the different sliders, you can choose what color you want it to be. You can move it like this. You can move it. Oh, these are some. Oh, yeah, you could choose any photo. You could do this photo. You can always take borrow colors. Flickers. Please, can I all these different colors and yeah there's and recent colors is very useful if you so you don't have to take steps um there, this is for, there's a format place and there, and there are different effects you can apply like shadow and like what that does is it creates well sort of shadowy on the bottom, you can change a ton of parameters. Make it so that there's a. You can, you can choose the color of the shadow. You can so you can essentially create two shapes, like you can create a clone, an exact clone of that shape. And uh, you can. Uh, You can choose how you want to reflect it. And uh, you can choose how big or how small you want it to be. And you can choose how far or how close you want it to be. And the reflection is different from the shadows in the way that you can't change the color of a reflection. Glow is one of my favorite types of effects because it because it creates like a, you know you know you can make it huge you can make and you can do all these you know parameters. I'm not I'm not exactly sure what the soft edges do. I'm as, all I know is that it probably like honestly I don't really know what it does. Nonetheless, oh yeah, 3D rotation. Now this one's a really useful one. You can like make, you can give it illusions to make it look like it's facing a different direction. And oh yeah, and there's uh, the what was that other one? Well, that that's how. It, 
Yeah, that's shapes. This is all. Since this is only like five min minutes, I think I might do a little bit more on shapes. Probably action buttons. These now these are also kind of useful because. But these are only available in PowerPoint and not available in Microsoft Word because PowerPoint is more for like, you know, the is more of a um, kind of a storytelling board, and you can use this to. To you can use it to change slides. So you can use this to make like, your choose your own adventure, and you can use it to run the program. Make it so you mouse mouse over it, or you can make it so it plays different sounds. It's a very that's very useful. So you can just make it so it does nothing, but it still makes a sound when you click over it. Also good for storytelling. You can make and you can make it invisible, and then you can make it so that when you roll over it. It's a, you know, you can make an interactive storybook somehow. Um, this is how to use text. And there's a symbol br browser. And you can do like special symbols. There's, um, you can do like these. You can do Greek letters. Musical notes. And you can do like extensions or hexes. You can use this for doing something. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Here's how to use fonts. My fa personally, my favorite is Andale Mono and Courier. And, uh, yeah. So. Yeah, this is Yeah, this is a really useful Yeah, another feature of PowerPoint is called uh, it's called tools, and if you do Alt Command L, it opens a spell check and it's very useful and. Uh,